This woman is the pure example of why men, especially those of high status, should get a prenup before marriage takes place. Cute. All right, what about you? What's your name? I'm Maria. My name is Maria. I'm 24. Where are you from? Originally, I was born and raised in Brazil. I oh. moved to America when I was 12. Bon dia. Bon dia. Okay. Bon noite. I go bon noite. <laughs> okay. Mamma mia. Okay. Where did you grow up in the United States? That's Italian, Chris. I don't know. Fort yeah. Myers, Florida. <laughs> okay, you're from Fort Myers as well? I'm okay. sorry. Are you guys friends? We are friends. Wow. Okay. Small room. <laughs> uh, what do you do for work? I don't. Okay. Thanks for keeping it real. <laughs> like, thanks for keeping it real. Like, uh, nigga, I gotta work. Uh, they say weird shit. Like, I gotta work. Yeah. Real estate. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's thank you for that. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, highest education level completed? I have a bachelor's of science and nursing. Okay. Wait, uh, nurse? Mm -hmm. oh, where'd, you get, where'd you get it from? Kaiser University. Oh, Kaiser? Shout out to Kaiser, man. That nigga's been working. <laughs> you work. Where do you go to school? Kaiser. Kaiser. <laughs> it's an online school. Is it, I was gonna say, is it an online school? It is. Uh, no, it's some of it, but you take your clinicals in class. Uh, Where's cars are located? I don't know. Fort Myers, they... Florida. That's the one I went to at least. Oh, okay. You know, on the highway we're driving, <laughs> says Kaiser University. Come here. <laughs> on the radio station. Anything you want. Niggas ops is the ride. The ride. Fuck the ride. Nigga, the ride. Come to Kaiser. Come to Kaiser. Bang, bang. All right. Fuck them niggas. We're having too much fun here. Sorry, man. Sorry. What's your relationship status? I'm divorced. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, so she, she's taking that nigga money. I need to stay unemployed so I get this alimony, <laughs> niggas. Yo, just step off school. Uh, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 24, I man. Stay home. Yeah, yeah. Yo, oh, shit. shit. Yo, check it out. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Uh, now I see why she really wants to come. All right. Uh, all right. Divorce. How long have you been divorced for? Not even a year. Oh, shit. Okay. How long were y'all together? Seven. Oh, oh, damn. Shit. That nigga paid. I'll tell, <laughs> I'll tell you this, though. I'll tell you this, though. That nigga paid. Somebody real? <laughs> One minute. Look at her attire. Yeah. Bank leave. Bank leave. Cartier. Bank leave. Yo, she's making money, man. Listen, oh, bro. Shit. I'll tell you this. Don't... Her dude has bread. Yeah. If that's legit real. What did your ex-husband do? He plays for the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's struggling. I'm telling you, bro. Yo. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, you good, man? Yo. Yo. Listen, she's winning out right now. Yo. Yo, she, hey, yo, yo, girl, she made it, man. She, made it. Yo. she ain't she never been more. in the end zone, but she got the touchdown. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shit. Wait, I divorced Tim. I know you did. No, 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 trust me. We, we know. Come on. Come on. It was seven years. What went wrong? Oh, my God. We're... Well, I, I can imagine. Story. I think he's asking the real question today. I like this. I can imagine the cheating, you know, the distrust. But let's, let's go into it a little more. No, honestly, like, we had... It was always rocky. Like, even when we were in high school, he, like... I think he was, like... I don't know, like womanizer in a way. Like he even asked me. <laughs> yeah, like it was like high school. <laughs> what do you think? What, what position did he play? Wide receiver. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Question Was he a nigga? Of course he was. Chris. He's a receiver. Of course he's a receiver. Yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I want to assume. Man. Okay, come on, man. I want to assume. Wait, it was the last time you see a white receiver? A white wide receiver. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh, man. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, question for you. Was, like was, it, was it Marie? A beautiful chocolate man. He was. <laughs> was it Marie? <laughs> Maria. Maria. Mm -hmm. what question you, for you. What sure. Did it ever occur to you that you're dating a maybe muscular black male? Probably over six foot being a receiver. Did tall. I mention that he's 5'8"? <laughs> As a wide receiver, that boy yeah. got ups. Either way, he's that means he's very good. He's, he's, he's very good at what he does, no, right? Fast. So he may have Five other eight. options that might come into play, but you're the main one. You never let her answer. What's he? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm finished. Now. <laughs> um, What's I mean, name? yeah, it always occurred to me his ego was constantly stroked, so that always occurred that, to me. With reason, he's an NFL player. For sure. I mean, I mean he yeah. can meet anyone just based on his title. So for Wait, sure. Uh, What's his, his name? Oh man! Niggas in the chat gonna find out, bro. Niggas in the chat already. Oh, niggas already put names in the chat. No, 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 no. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, you gotta say what? What? I was gonna mention the city. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sure. It's in Florida. No, no hints. Oh. It's in Florida. We'll find out. So, somebody's Ray, gonna find it. Yeah. Ray somebody Ray gonna find Ray it. They said we found that nigga. Ray 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 Ray. Ray. Uh. 
Uh, okay, so. Okay. Um, all right, so you guys, but the, what, what made you like, what was the main initiating for divorce? Was it infidelity, I guess? For sure. And okay. just lying and, yeah. And money. Of- Let me ask this. <laughs> if, Chris said it, and money. If he had been honest about, look, baby, I love you, you're the main one, but I want to have other women, would have you been okay with it? Absolutely not, but somebody would have. Damn. That's hurtful, man. Yeah, so I probably lied. And then... That's why he lied, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he Because he knew. Yeah. He knew what time it was. <laughs> all right. Um, okay. Uh, birth control? Okay. Uh, y'all have kids together, right? I'm guessing? Yeah. How many kids y'all got? Five. No, oh, I'm just kidding. Shit. <laughs> just well, I was about to say, I can see why you got that. Okay, now, how many? We have two. Okay, cool. All right. And you're only 24? I am. I got pregnant at 17. Okay, so y'all were like high school sweet. Well, yeah, you guys were in high school together. Yeah, we graduated married. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, well, he was. Stupid. Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah. I mean, dude, it was no. I, well, was, wait, did he already have like a D one offer at that point, right? He did, yeah. So yeah, I mean, that makes sense, then. No, nah, man. No, that's smart. Nah, that is like, smart. That's before he blew up. Mm-hmm. She got it early. Wink, yeah. wink. Yeah. Smart yeah. on her end. I mean, yeah. End. <laughs> yeah. Damn. I think I was the prize, but. Well, not anymore. Yeah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. He was the prize, bro. Yeah. He, 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 he can have another you in a minute, man. Be honest with you, man. NFL player, you. I mean, let's be honest here. Um. Okay. Uh, who's your Virginia to NFL player? Me. Yeah, Maria. Yeah. Yes, I did. He was your one and only for a while. For a while. <laughs> okay. Did you ever cheat? <laughs> he did. No, did you ever cheat? I did. Mm. Mm. Was, was it get back or you just cheated first? Get back. Damn. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Did that nigga dirty. Another <laughs> NFL player? Damn. Uh, eye for eye. An NBA player. Mm. Oh, shit. <laughs> <Whoa, laughs> oh, my God. Yo, yo, yo. yo, 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 yo She's like, yo, I'm done with this nigga, wait, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Holy. Wait, so, so, so were you all already done at that point, though? Like, had you already initiated the divorce and shit? Or, or like... um, no, definitely not. So he would get served the paperwork and not sign them. Like, he wasn't trying to get divorced. And then, oh. yeah. And so then, you cheated after that? After I served him the divorce? or Yeah, after you served him the divorce and you didn't want to sign? Beforehand. Oh. Be okay. honest. Just mm-hmm. this is my last question for you. Would you date another athlete now, know what you know now? Never. See, it happens in a cycle. Mm-hmm. Sure, just fuck him, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? Come on, I had to die. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. But typically, that's what happens. You date athlete, you realize it's not what you thought it was going to be, and then you end up, you know what? I'm out. Yeah. Uh, as a girl. But yeah. yeah. All right. Okay, uh, cool. Going back to you. Later on, the chat ended up finding the name of her ex husband. Fuck! Uh, Devin Tompkins goes, born December 23rd, 1999, 24, c- contract, two year, <laughs> one million five. What the fuck? Oh, oh that's. Uh, yeah, no. Oh, shit. Yeah. So, so can you be honest now? That's him. That's my baby dad. Yeah, she didn't want to say it earlier. <laughs> Yo, by the way, the mods figured it out very fast. Immediately, huh? Good yeah, job. Internet. Yo, can we pull up oh, his stats, by the way? That's scary. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, and niggas gonna, gonna pull up his shirt? And her Instagram? Oh, oh man. Yeah. They're, they're talking about uh, you here. Her delusion starts to show when she starts saying that she can find another NFL player even as a single mom. Makes sense. You know, it's also it's very, very common. interesting. Notice how, uh, I don't mean to pick on you, but <laughs> she had the, she thought 30% of guys made that kind yeah. of money. And More than that, 30, 30, 30, 30 35. Call one third. And, and I'm not saying that to pick on you, but what I've noticed is that like women's like experiences heavily influence their views of the world. Which I mean, all humans are biased to that, right? Yeah. Right. But that I mean, but keep in mind, she was with an athlete, her, pretty much her entire adult life. At this point, probably now she's at a certain status where only those types of men are even attractive to her. Those are only men that are only in her purview. So in her mind, yeah, all the guys I talk to pretty much are at that level. So like, yeah, 35 percent of guys easily. But what women don't realize is that that's like a very small minority of men. And that's why, like when you said earlier, I'm the prize. We all laughed at you because the reality is, is that a guy that is at the NFL is less than that one percent. So it's like he's really the prize. You don't even come close. No offense, because there's plenty of girls that look like you on Instagram. There's not plenty of guys that are in the NFL, a wide receiver for a professional football team making millions of dollars a year at all. And I think this is where women kind of have things skewed and don't understand that you guys are not as special as you guys think you are. And the man that you're pursuing is way more special than you are. I mean, but you guys I don't think- really think it's that uncommon. I don't mean to cut you off, but and athletes statistically in general, speaking, it is that uncommon. What's uncommon? Like athletes in general. Like how many you don't think professional teams athletes are, are there? Like how many basketball teams oh, are there? Oh, how many oh, soccer teams? Yeah. Like there's okay. so many athletes. Yeah, so yeah, if you're yeah. already in the scene, hold on, hold on. like yes, there's there's so many athletes, but you don't understand that they are the the. The cream of the crop, the prime of the prime. I really prime. don't think so. I think most of them are replaceable. And I think what they're doing is a skill that's learned and that can easily be learned by somebody else. They get replaced every oh. year by new draft picks, by it could new be all easy, of that. I could easily replace Tom Brady. All I have to do is train. He, Tom Brady is easily <laughs> I think replaceable. He also just has hype, I think what I he's doing is practice a skill. harder. But 
you're also 24 too so the older you get the least likely they'll absolutely there's you, a younger so. guy coming right behind you i un- i understand no, I mean that completely you, like you're you. old and older no for sure yeah, i'm not so. saying like i'm gonna be able to <laughs> so, like, whatever use my beauty for the rest of my life yeah, i don't think won't. so you, you do realize that, like, if that someone makes it to the NFL or the NBA, like, they've beaten out millions upon millions of people for that position. That. So, by definition, that, the that means they're extremely rare. The percentage is very small of who actually makes it to yeah. the NFL. I understand that. But I'm saying people do make it. Those people are out there. And there's new people that and replace them. they're not all lining up for you, though. But they're year. rare. No. Yeah. Extremely. Facts. So, what I'm simply saying is that they're more rare than you are. No, I don't think you're understanding. I think when you were talking about environment, like, where I'm getting to is I'm around more of those people than I am. A um, fucking Uber that's, driver. That's, that's my point. But, that, but that's my so point. Is that's that, why but, I made the yeah, you're statistic around, yeah, 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 what I yeah, yeah, made. But, but, because... but notice how you're so grossly incorrect is my point. We understand. Like, what I'm trying to explain is here is that women tend to think higher status, attractive men are common. And what I'm trying to explain to you is that they're not at all. And that's why your man felt it okay to cheat on you because, yeah. quite frankly, you're replaceable <laughs> and he's not. Yeah. So he was like, okay. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. But that's not I really true. More, on, he never on, hold cheated hold on. on me when he was in the NFL. He cheated on me when he was in college and high school. He Even never worse. cheated on okay, me in the but NFL. But my, my point, you don't think he was cheating on you when he was in the NFL and he had more status and more money? Come on, man. Right. No, anyway, absolutely. I do yeah. think so. Yeah. So but he I don't definitely did. True. You just didn't catch him. But my point I'm trying to make is, like, <laughs> yeah. Was fast, bro. Yeah, like, like it, I'm getting bitches <laughs> in college. Now I'm in the NFL and I'm even more high status. Oh, I'm going to restrain myself now. No, he's fucked even more girls. But what I'm trying to simply explain is that the reason why your man did what he did is because he knew in the back of his mind, subconsciously, maybe he would admit this or not, I have way more value than this girl. And the reality is, if she leaves me, she's stupid. Because I bring the value to the relationship. She's a regular chick, no offense to you, but the reality is beauty is common, hot girls are common, they're all over the place. I mean, we're in South Florida, they're all over. So it's like, how many NFL players are you gonna have versus how many hot girls are you gonna have? So I get it in your perspective. Oh, I meet athletes all the time, I see them. There's still a very small minority of the population. Yeah. Very small. And then another thing too that women don't understand is that you might meet these guys. You might date these guys. Hell, in your case, you might even fuck one of these NBA players. But are they going to commit to you is the question. Are they going to commit to you and are they going to be – are they going to commit to you and are you going to get everything out of them that you want? Are they going to fulfill all your needs, be attractive, and commit to you? I would argue most of the time it's a no. And other girl's going to accept that he's going to do what he's going to do yeah. at that level of status. Yeah. You know who did it very well? What? Kobe Bryant's wife. Yeah. Mm. She stuck it out. She understood. She stuck it out. The mission. Like, yeah. I, I don't think women understand that, like, when you get with a guy of that kind of caliber, you have no power anymore. The man has the power. You're not the prize. You're not special. You're not the best. Like, it's you got to s- submit, understand that he's the man. You might have other women. If you have a house over your head and he takes care of you, bank leave, bracelets, et cetera, I think maybe it's best to stay with him. You know who did it wrong? Scotty Pippen's ex whore. Oh, wife. yeah. Yeah, yeah. She fucked up. <laughs> fucked up, bro. Hey, but, hey, look, you, I mean, obviously, we're not saying this to, like, bash or anything like that. I'm just saying that, like, I think women don't really understand the concept of how rare an attractive man is. Well, it just depends, like, where you are, what you're surrounded by. It's, it doesn't change the percentage. Rare, it's still small. It, it doesn't change the percentage, but, like, it differs from each person depending on we who you We said know. that. But even if it's yeah. rare, he still made a commitment, <laughs> and he failed to follow through with that commitment. So it's still his fault. No matter how rare he is, if you can find a bunch of pretty girls, like, he did make a commitment. Yeah, the statistics yeah, but, don't but matter. But women also point. need to have common sense and understand that men are going to be men and that you don't have the ability to really dictate anything. I mean, no one goes into a marriage thinking... We're going to get divorced because he's going to cheat on me. Like, that's hopefully, hopefully not well, what you're thinking. If you're getting with an athlete, someone. you should know that comes with the territory and have a little bit of common sense. But women are delusional and think that they're special. And they think, I'm with an athlete. I'm on his level. He's going to, like, oh, yeah, he's going to be faithful to me. No, dude. Like, men are only as faithful as their options. Right. And, like, even though, like, most of them will be unfaithful, there must be some that are faithful. You know, there has to be. Nope. Well, let's do the math here. If an athlete is 1% of the 1% of the 1%, mm-hmm. what do you think <laughs> a faithful athlete is going to be in rarity? Yeah, what? but that's what I'm saying. Maybe she thought she was marrying the one guy that really was faithful. She was on her in high school. Come on, man. Yeah, but like, high come on, man. College. Also, 1% is actually like a lot of people because our earth oh is extremely God. populated. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I am. Do I look okay? Yeah, we're fucked, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it, it, it's and, and, and they wonder is, why we have a passport bros movement. And they wonder <laughs> why bro. we have a passport bros movement. Yeah, yeah. No, why like, I, like I just like, Paulo, by the way. like you guys, ladies, like you just got to kind of accept the numbers that like the guy, the, your dream guy is rare. And if you find him, he's probably going to want other women, too, because it, he had to work really hard to get to that position. Like, I mean, you know, for you, right, you kind of said, well, athletes are they just got to have skill and talent. Like, that's easy to say when you're a female and you don't have to accomplish anything. No yeah. offense. Like. Y'all live life on easy mode. Men have to I really work. I think because I'm a female, I have to accomplish I more. I agree. That's so oh, untrue Lord. that we just okay. are girls and live. Okay. Later, she starts to argue that woman works harder than men. 
I, I literally your said, let, let's, rem no, let's remember how this started. No, my answer. I said that I stood by what I said, like, in my last statement, which I don't remember word for word. But <laughs> Yo, what the fuck, bro? I That's an example of how women live life on easy mode. You don't even have to remember okay, what you made, bro. a statement let me you explain. made seven minutes ago. <laughs> let me explain. Let me explain. Bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the hell? Let me explain. Let, uh, okay. Hold on, hold on. Let me remind you of how it started because you t tend to have, like, amnesia right now. I said, because you made the statement, oh, well, just having skill being a professional athlete, like you tried to simplify it and make it look like it's not a fucking amazing no, thing. No, I didn't. And I was like, well, hold on. Men have to work really hard to get to that point, and men live a way harder life. Women just have to exist. Women live life on easy mode. Then that's you said, true. that's not true. Women have to work harder. And I said, really? Oh, yeah. And yeah, that's that how I started. That was my point. That was my oh, point. Oh, okay. okay. so. How do I remember what you're saying? I you don't. still feel oh. like, I still stand by that. I still feel like women have to work harder, honestly. Explain and, to me how so. Okay. Let me take an example. Of yourself. Go ahead. Not of myself. <laughs> yeah, but I wonder let's why. say. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't even work. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't even work. Yeah, bro. Uh, so I, give us an example that doesn't have to do with you. Okay, That's fine. but what I'm saying is like prior to him making it to the NFL, you guys have to understand this person is, has only been in the NFL for the past two years. Other than that, I carried my relationship because he was in college. I carried my kid. Like I worked full time up until I gave birth to each of my kids. So like I worked. He oh. didn't. So because he was working on his career, I had to put mine on pause. And that was okay because he had this big NFL dream that he was going to accomplish. And, he, and I get it. And he, and he did. And he did. And he that's did. great for him. I want nothing less from and him. for you. But yeah. I'm saying <laughs> I had to work hard as well. But and his 9 to 5 was just going to practice, going to school uh, on, a going to practice. Practice. Someone, on a full-ride scholarship. On a full-ride scholarship. She was taking care of kids. And I was taking care of kids, yeah. plus working full-time, plus being a wife. Well, hold on, hold on. Logically, being a mom Sorry. is much more difficult than being a world-famous, world-recognized professional athlete. It's so much harder to be a mom. I'm just saying, how is it? <laughs> um, it is. No, it is. Because... You would not understand you're not a woman. No, because it is. Oh, because wow. his version... You, you caught me there. Or a parent. <laughs> no, so what I'm saying is, like, you guys are calling what I'm doing by being a mother parenting. And him just financially providing for his children parenting. But they're not the same. And they don't take the equal amount of work. We understand <laughs> mothers work hard with their kids. It is a full-time job. But we're just saying, as a man, your tribulations are way harder than just taking care of kids. I don't think so. I mean, this is simple. Disagree. How many mothers are there in the world? Billions. Billions. How many NFL players are there in the world? Mm. Not, not too many. Okay. And here's the other thing, too. Because I was a Division One athlete in college. Let me fucking tell you, it ain't easy. You're training <laughs> two to three times a day. I wanted to almost puke, etc. No, but what I'm trying I just to say said is that I worked harder. No, you absolutely do not. I, didn't. I, I am not going to let you get away with that. <laughs> you did. absolutely did not work harder than him. And here's the other thing too. Here's the biggest thing. If you chose to not work hard, he wouldn't have left you. He would have been okay with it because you just had to be attractive and be available. And he was there and he was with you. Take care, kids. Men have a very low threshold for what they find attractive in women. Women don't have to work hard to be attractive and get a guy. You can be average and get an exceptional man. Men, on the other hand, have to be exceptional to get an average woman. Yep. It's not the same. Like, I am not going to let you get away with this and say, yo, yeah, I worked harder than my man. Fuck out of here. No, you didn't. I was a Division I athlete training three times per day. I know what NFL players go through. I've done Division One football player workouts before. We've trained with them before when I was rowing. It is not easy at all. Running sprints, etc. It's way harder than what you did. I buy all not even never said it was You can't easy. compare the two because you haven't been a parent sprints. and worked full running time while sprints. being a parent. Running with your legs. Like, you don't even know what a bench press is. <laughs> I go to the gym. You're you don't saying, even know what a bench press is. You're saying running with your legs is harder than raising children, yes. making money, cleaning yes. a house, yes. cooking, making sure that when there's your husband a reason gets home, why, you're there. Hold on. There's a reason why there's billions upon billions of fucking parents, but there's only less than 1% people that can make it to the NFL and so, be athletes. Please. I am not going to let you guys sit here and try to put being a fucking mom on the same level as being an NFL player so, at all. I'm just and this confused. is what I try to say when I mean when I say women are, are fucking them? delusional and don't understand how the real world works at all. You guys don't understand what hard work is at all. Most females don't know what it is to really get blood, sweat, and tears into anything because most of y'all suck at everything. Men are better than women at almost everything. And that's the truth. We built the world. We're the best athletes. We're better than y'all at everything. You guys just got to be pretty and exist. And that's it. And women have more opportunities to make money, more money. Women have more opportunities to get a man and have a leisure life where they don't have to work. And they can have a man take care of them. Yeah. Guess what? We don't get that privilege. I can't just be pretty and say, let me just get a sugar bottle to take care of me, man. <laughs> you know, work, man. Let me get a professional WNBA player to take care of me. <laughs> Fuck no, they don't get paid shit because no one cares about NBA and WNBA. All right? It's because, yeah. And because the reason why is because men have to work way harder than women in almost every endeavor on earth. Being a mom doesn't come close to being a professional athlete at fucking all. Okay, can we take maybe at all other two scenarios? 
because I just don't think we're going to see eye to eye with this. No offense. No, you're wrong. From a yeah, statistical standpoint. No, 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 no. I don't no. think I'm wrong. No. From, a, you're from a statistical standpoint. standpoint. No, you're taking from a statistical standpoint. From a statistical standpoint. Of something that is rewarded. Me being a parent will never be, like, the reward is my kids. You're talking about a reward that is financial reward. It's ty- like it's social reward. Like, in, in so many ways, his career is so much more rewarding than mine was, but I still had to work just as He's talking about the difficulty hard, of like, achievement. It's usually a pleasure for a mom to take care of the kids, though. It's not that's your that's your biological. Of course, it's a that's pleasure. That's your biological like, instinct. You is to have kids. Not. Okay. What, what is right. a woman's biological instinct? Next. Oh yeah, for sure. No, what kids. is a woman's biological instinct then? No, yeah, that's just to have kids, populate the world. Yes, that's what both men and women's needs are: is a biological instinct, is to have children. The difference is, is that men have to create. We have to become a somebody to get the privilege of having children. Oh, and we have to grow them in our fucking bodies for nine months. Good job. Congratulations. Good job. But you don't have to, but you didn't have to <laughs> become anything to get pregnant. Yeah, it just happens. It, like, you just have to be. Oh, it's so you just have to be. Just What's be attractive sex? and a guy will fuck you. Like, yeah. I mean, what do you No what do you offense. Mean? I can hire a maid. I can hire a nanny. I'm not putting down mother's uh, burden of raising kids because it is, you know, hard work. I'm just saying I can hire somebody to do those jobs. I can't hire an NFL player or NBA player. And by the way, tell Michael Jordan. He ain't doing shit. <laughs> Tell Kobe Bryant he didn't work hard. They niggas work hard as fuck to get to where they're at. Absolutely. So don't ever say that they didn't work hard. They did, Absolutely. They work very hard. It's just I never said comparable. they don't work hard. I hard, never said that. You. Way I harder than you. I never said that. Harder than you. Okay, correct. They're w- much older. Like, they, of course, they have more time to work harder no, than I'm me. I'm saying but your I'm man worked harder saying. than you. Yeah, he did. Yes. Your guy worked way harder than you in everything. He's yeah. not my man, but. Your no, ex husband. Like, you, you, the fact that you're even trying to put yourself in the same footing as him is ludicrous to me. Right. And then, I think the fact that, that you're not, not in is the ludicrous. Same, yeah. Okay, question. Comparison? Any other athletes? Would you, would you consider him working harder? Because you, you don't know them, would you say? Um, I don't think by any means that athletes don't work hard. That's not what I said. I just said that I work harder. Like, we can take another example if you want. I don't know if you mind me bringing up your situation. Her man plays D1 athlete football. That's her baby daddy. She works hard, way harder than him every single day by taking care of, she has to manage taking care of her child, going to work, providing for her child because he can't physic- like financially or physically be there all the way for her child. So she has to pick up where he slacks as a parent, meaning she's working twice as hard because he cannot. Oh, yeah, she well, he's a D1 in college? Yes. So he's not an NFL player? No, that's not what I said. You are talking athletes in general. No, you mentioned you being a D1 we, athlete. Why can't I mention that? NFL. Top level guys. Yeah, top level that guys. D1 athletes. Okay, yeah, of course. If you're looking at LeBron James, I'm going to think that he worked harder than. Okay. okay? Yeah. So you agree? He's an NFL. Well, well you want. I she was trying to say that she worked harder than her man. Which I, I don't I disagree agree with that too. to your general statement. No, but I agree with yes. If we are speaking about LeBron James, sure. Wait, only yes, LeBron? Absolutely. Wait, wait. Let's oh. go back to the root of this thing. Who lives a harder life in 2020? Three or twenty twenty four is what was the, the the question? I don't think he lives a harder life. I think uh, generally, men generally, women. men. Yeah. I don't think men live a harder life. I then feel women. like you guys can easily go on social media, make a fucking OnlyFans agency. The girl has to put in all the fucking work, Wait and you guys just sit there what? and post. Like, wow. it, there's so many easy Bro. ways for men to make money. It's Yo, so much harder for the who women. Who has more opportunity to make more money, men or women? Men. How so? You just explained it. Like, You're like higher in the world. Wait, 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 wait. Being a division NFL one athlete is easy. Sure. Being an like, NFL player is I easy. I never said it's easy, but it's achievable. And it's done. But, but it's there difficult. is millions of fucking football players. No, there's not. Maybe okay. how many players in the NFL? Maybe a thousand? 500. 500. 500. Okay. Millions. Athletes in general. Can we take like basketball? Like, <laughs> okay. I'm not just speaking about football players. That's not what I'm saying at all. I didn't just say only football players work hard. I'm speaking for every athlete. That's every in professional a major athlete. League. Yes. All right. Sure. Let's tally up NBA, NFL, MLB, NHL. Let's look it and up. Soccer. They said it. And soccer. Sure. They said and MLS. Yeah. Total. Compl- and then we'll put that Everything. in the percentage of the world. So, okay. So you think that men have uh, an, e- an easier life because men have more opportunities to make more money? That's our only thing. I think you because guys have an easier <laughs> life because you guys can use easily sexualize women and Easy. still make money. Like pimps. Uh, you yeah. can sell your feet pics for ten eighty nine and make millions. And you of can dollars. sell your dick right. without a face. Right. No, we can. Are you what? serious? For sure. Yes. When was the last time you bought a dick pic? Yeah, I'm right. not interested in that. Okay, but like, thank you. Thank you. Customer uh, base. Thank you. Women is way bigger than men. Do you seriously think women could pay for porn? Men pay for well, porn from other men. There's so many gay that guys that buy men's yeah. porn. You know, like, you know, like, successful their male gigolos are banking it right now. <laughs> no, dude, I, know men. I don't think you guys are really oh, understanding God. how big these OnlyFans agencies are. Okay, okay, like, look, they're, look, look, they're, they're making idea 40%. How difficult it is to run this. Why don't you start a business? Why don't you do a marketing agency, OnlyFans agency, cold email agency? Any skill. <laughs> Learn a skill like, and do it. 
Running OnlyFans agency is a marketing agency. You learn how to market on Reddit, all these different platforms, how to do influencer shoutouts. Once how to again, I'm not saying it's work. easy. I you am just <laughs> saying the girl is working harder. She's the one putting her. It, that's basically bro, like getting. Memory, okay, okay. It's yeah. historically yeah. easier Need for to. men to get jobs. Okay, you literally but, but can't what about, say no, no, no. over here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm saying money. You said historically. I said in 2024. Yep. Who is it easier for, men or women? She gave the ridiculous example, which is a nuance, by the way, of running an OnlyFans agency, having more opportunity. But guess what? For every one man that runs an OnlyFans agency, or two, or three, or maybe even five, how many girls work under them? 20, 30, 40, 50? That's more women being employed, but a minority of men being employed. So explain to me again how it's easier okay. for men. Sure, so is the man sitting there making all the content for this OnlyFans, or is he only making 40% by what he posts and what he's chatting with the but other I men on I just explained there, to like, you that a minority of men are running that agency, but a majority of the employees are but all women, so they But they're making a bigger percentage. If you think about it, OnlyFans takes 10%. 20. Who do you think is doing the hard work? They take 20%. 20. So these men are charging 40% in their agency. So what is the woman left with? Have, after you do the math, after what is taken from her, but it's her body that she's selling. With agencies. Hold on. I have friends that run agencies, right? And All I get right. what you're saying. They take a lot of, a lot of money. However, let's be honest here, right? Those women are choosing to do this because they're doing it anyway. Absolutely. He's but they're doing working the marketing harder. for her. Yeah. But she can't do it on her own. She was making 2K. So now she's making 20K. Exactly. So the she made more money because of him. So by default, he's helping her when I make more money. I but, but never that's not, said that's not the he point. wasn't. No. Also, I you said gave, hold on, hold on, hold on, she's hold on, working hold on, harder. Hold on. You gave, you gave the said. one that you gave a, a, a random <sighs> example of men running OnlyFans agencies. But my point is that for a man to make that kind of money, twenty thousand dollars a year, etc., can he sell fee pictures and sexualize himself on the internet? No, he can just use a woman to do it. Boom. Okay, but that's a minority of men that actually have the skill set to do that. Number. What about a majority of men? We're not talking about the one percent of guys that are running OnlyFans agencies because that's what it or is. Or NFL players. Or NFL players. I'm talking about the general guy versus the general woman. Who has more opportunities to make more money? Men. How so? Tell me why. Okay, can I say historically, or am I not allowed to say that? No, we're talking about 2024. This year. Yeah, 20, well, okay. or 2023 if you want to use a year that uh, uh, elapsed. Go ahead, tell me how. Okay. How? It is easier for men to get jobs. They will hire really? a man over a woman any day in any STEM job. Actually, you're wrong. You're and wrong. And I will tell you why. You're definitely wrong. Because in STEM, Feminist. any job that is male-dominated, <laughs> women have a way higher likelihood of being hired because of diversity. But you just said it, male-dominated. It's male-dominated. That means... Because women choose to not go into those jobs. Yeah. That's so untrue. Really? Oh, my God. I wrote Yo, a book on this shit. Yo. They give promotions. Pull it out. Grants. Why women deserve less? I talk about this explicitly. <laughs> oh, you wrote in it. That's no, 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 no. It's based on studies. studies. I explicitly go over this. Women dominate college attendance. Women dominate higher education. However, they choose to go into majors that don't deal with science, technology, engineering, and math. Stand by the way. They choose to go into jobs and professions that don't deal with that. What do you major in again? Damn. Photography. What? Photography. You're in college. What do you major in again? Communication. Communication. Oh, bullshit fucking majors. That's what women pick. No <laughs> offense. But that's the truth. When women go to college, they typically major in things that don't deal with STEM. And women choose to go in these career fields. Now explain to me how women dominate college attendance. They're getting more college degrees than ever before, yet they still are underrepresented in these job fields that require a college degree. Just do the math. They just choose to not go into it. Because women are not interested in things like men are. It's a choice. Affirmative action. I was in STEM. So if women do choose to pick these jobs, they get hired over the man every single time. I used to work in law enforcement before this. Guess what they did? They hired the women all the time. Matter of fact, they had female-only announcements. Yes. Do you know what the fuck would happen if we had male-only announcements? <laughs> There'd be riots all over the Canceled. place. Canceled. By the way, one woman was in my IT class, right? Mm -hmm. We finished school. Guess what happened to her? She got hired right away. And she was black, by the way, a minority. No, because I understand of that. Action. It's a my, like, So it's, you guys get hired before us just okay. off because, of being yeah. there. I just, so let's try again. Thanks. So how's it harder? I just still believe in what I said. So just, just because. You, you were just debunked. I believe. No, I just genuinely. <laughs> it's to leap. I think it is easier for men to get a job. I'm leaving it at that. That is incorrect from what we just explained to you, yes. especially in the job field that you mentioned. Matter of fact, they've done studies on this too. Put a female name on a resume, same exact qualifications, the female almost always gets hired more than the male. When you go home, Google this for yourself. Please. Okay, I will. Please do. I will. It uh, is far easier for women to get jobs, especially in fields that are not uh, that are male dominated. That are male dominated. So okay. I, I don't like, and, and again, you guys prove my point. What are you guys majoring in? Not what you're complaining about. Because women don't want to do these jobs. I'm actually um, minoring in sociology. So Another I oh my God. God. That doesn't help. Yeah. Yeah. My what the fuck? UCLA <laughs> told me, bro, yeah. you got to take a sociology class. I'm like, why? They're like, it's 95% bitches while you walk in. There's no other dudes in that class. Yeah, but I took one and I learned a lot of shit. 
A lot of useless stuff social. that doesn't equate to making money. You? In okay, real life. I don't give a fuck. Okay, why do men sure. care so much about money? You because guys are all sitting here. Y'all. Because no, you guys are all sitting here saying, I wish I could be broke. You guys are all sitting here saying, oh, girls only like guys that are rich, this and that. We have barely talked about men and financial stuff except when you guys bring it up because we care like about more things. You know, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, hold on. I don't know if you guys know. I have different morals. That was literally. Hold on, hold on. Did you not just hear yourself just now? I did. I have okay. ears. Okay. Thank you. You said, way. why do men care so much about money? You confirmed. No. Okay. I, okay. 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 Thank you. I understand. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. oh, my God, bro. Like, like uh, I, let me, let me, like, just the gravity of what you said. <laughs> the reason why men care about money so much is because we live a harder life and we understand that our status and our income dictates our value. Well, we can't get a woman to rescue us and marry us and get malimony and child support and live a great life with Van Cleef bracelets. It's not happening okay, for us. Well, you know hold what? on, hold on. So <laughs> on men, there's a burden of performance to go out there and create something. That's why you want to go to the NFL. That's why you want to be an athlete. That's why you want to make money because we don't have a safety net like you guys do. That's why you have the privilege of going to college and majoring in dumb shit because there's no burden of performance on you to make money. That's the difference between men and women. We live a harder life because we must perform. You don't have to. It's elective for you to perform. Yeah. So you just prove my own point with your own statements that life is harder for men. We have to perform. I would prefer a man who respects me and isn't rude to me and has no money than a man who has a lot of money. 100% and agree. And acts like that. To be in all fairness here. Answer this one. You'll take a brokey that will respect no, you? No, no, no. How old are you? I'm 19. Oh, God. Uh, just please. Ask someone who's older Wait. than us. <laughs> I'm yeah, curious. It's, 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 would you yeah. prefer Well, a broke... they have kids, Wait, stop, stop, so I get it. No, no, no. I'm saying I get it. No, she, she's a baby, too. She's 24. What are... Do you... No, no, real quick. Do you prefer a man who treats you good but is broke? Be honest. Um, I wouldn't say prefer. Mm -hmm. I prefer them to be both have money and treat me well. Why? It was a win-win. Because it's security. When you get older, right, you're going to realize there's bills to be paid. Things going on in life, and you don't want to work, right? I understand that. So why are you arguing for not having a guy that's broke? I I don't. Okay, what I'm saying is if it's either so or, mm -hmm. like if it's either or, I would want a man that treats me better. <laughs> However, ideally, well, I'm not gonna put myself in a relationship where I'm treated bad. I don't care if he's a millionaire. That is me personally. Yep. I understand. That's, that's just me. And I know you're like, wow, you're fucking crazy for that. But I grew up. It's not that you're crazy. Just you're naive, I'm, as she I'm would just say. Delusional. You are delusional. Thank you. Yes. Um. I just, with the morals I grew up on, I would rather live in a shack. Morals? Thanks, yeah, morals. I would rather live in a shack with a man who loves me and who I am respected by than a mansion with a man who does not give one fuck about me. Mm -hmm. That's and not I, the point of this and discussion. I'm 20, I you're, get you're, it. you're deflecting. The you point was who lives a harder life, saying. men or women? I don't know and, how we got here. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's because you guys have not I'm been stay, paying attention to the conversation. I'm simply saying that men live a much harder life than women, and none of you have been able to prove me wrong. Can someone prove me wrong here at the fucking table? You gave a ridiculous example of you working harder than your NFL guy. That's not true. <laughs> and then anybody else? Have anything? I mean, that men, women live... Because literally, women live life easier than men in every regard. Because here's the thing. <laughs> women have... The, you don't agree? Continue. I would you don't, like you don't to agree? hear your point. <laughs> no, I mean, what, what do you disagree with? No, I would just like to hear your point first. But you already know she doesn't agree, but like... It's just you guys aren't going to agree. Well, here's the thing. If you're not going to agree, then give us a solid stance as to why you don't agree. But you're just going to go back again as to why on she facts? should agree with on you. On facts? It's not about why she should agree. It's Correct. I'm giving and the maybe facts. I should have just researched statistics a little bit better, uh, but I'm giving you answers based on my experience. Yeah, we don't. Okay, and but, I, you can't fault me. Yeah, but your experience is But do you do realize fans. that your experiences might be invalid and not reflective of how the world really works? Correct, but I'm a... I'm a product of my own environment. This is what I've been around, so this is how I we feel, and this yeah, is why I've yeah, made yeah, my Yeah, feel. but that does not change the fact that your experience is what you've been around is not an excuse to be ignorant of how the world really works. Yeah. If the world works a certain way, right? Like, for example, I'm multimillionaire, right? And I run around and I say, yo, you know what? World hunger isn't real, bro. It's There's not. people, yeah, you know what? I eat every day. Yeah. I got food. I got more. some money. I'm cool. <laughs> world hunger isn't real. Wouldn't I be a fucking idiot for saying that? Well, for sure. Shit. Okay, mm. so... <laughs> so same exact situation not trying to call you a fucking idiot but what I'm saying is that the world doesn't revolve around you and your own experiences don't necessarily reflect on how the real world works just because I experienced something does not mean that there aren't kids dying and starving in Gaza right fucking now that need humanitarian aid that right but now that. you're being ignorant because you asked the oh. question 
No, you're literally you're being ignorant. How you so? asked the How you so? asked me the question. You asked me to answer. I gave you my answer, and it's wrong. And you're trying to tell me yeah, and it's wrong. wrong. It's her, and I'm it's, telling you it's wrong. It's, my it's her experience. How is her experience answer. wrong? It can be wrong. Yeah. Her opinion, oh, ladies, I, I know this is crazy. Opinions? But your opinion can be wrong. There's a difference between a fact and an opinion. <laughs> Facts can be wrong. Opinions cannot be wrong because it's your Are you opinion. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, no, no. Please, wait. We can literally... <laughs> I'm done. Please, let's rewind really because no, you guys are literally start. like, you guys ask a question and you're not like, you're not asking me like the statistics on anything. You're not asking, you're not asking me if like my answers are going to be factual. You're asking me like you're asking me. Yeah. Like from my own answer. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. what I'm giving to you. Okay. You're not being not like, so much oh, Maria, you well, give, no, no, it's no. the facts that you try to use to support them. So it, no, that's you, not true. I'm using my own experience opinion. on it. But when you say well, a third of guys are over six feet make you know, corner fifty, two hundred fifty dollars, or every other guy is starting an only Right, so when you asked me weeks. a percentage, when you asked me for an answer that required a fact behind it, you asked me to make a percentage right. of what I thought, and I gave that to you, and you could call me wrong because I'm right, wrong. But I'm saying you're, you're allowed to have but the you opinion, can't but tell it's me. not also supporting facts. So, so you asked the question from your experience, and we're telling you the Correct. facts behind it, but you're still fighting us on the facts. That's the problem here. Yeah, you can keep Correct. the opinion. Yeah, it's but it's wrong. wrong. You can think wrong. that, but it's well, wrong. No wrong. Well, she, well, listen, she can maybe have the opinion that women have it harder, but she can't have the facts. Like, the facts are the facts. That's what can't be argued with. And like, argue with facts can be yeah. wrong. Yeah, yeah that's, like, that's, like, that's ridiculous. Like, like that's that it's easier for a man no, to get a job. Or... Thank you. Yeah. But she just said, you said a fact can be wrong, but an opinion can't. It's the other way around. An opinion can absolutely be wrong, but a fact is not wrong because it's the truth. Well, opinions can be objective or subjective, and some some are Why, why was your face? Because opi <laughs> an opinion can be right or wrong. Well, an opinion could be who's hotter, Latina chicks or Asian chicks. That's a preference. That's a that's yes. uh, opinion. Yes. Sub that's so subject. and a subject. That's subject. That's subject. So objective you opinions asked can me, be wrong. This is an how objective opinion. Is, you literally asked me, so how... Like, why do I feel like I worked harder than my NFL man? Yeah. And I gave you the reason why I felt and like that. Wrong. And you're like, you're wrong. You're, you're wrong. wrong. That's, wrong. that's yeah. her reason. That's her <laughs> that's truth. That's me. That's my No, no, no. It's there like is you no ask such her thing. favorite color, and then she gives it to you, and you and say, you're, you're like, wrong. No, 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 because most women think that <laughs> it's fucking pink. We just explained. So your objective opinions and subjective opinions. It has to be fucking pink. Like, fuck no, out of here. Look, look, look. Ladies, see, here's the problem. We've indoctrinated women to think that their opinions are not only always right, but they're also valid. Your opinion can be wrong and also invalid at the same time. Yours can too. Absolutely. Understandable, yeah. But notice sure. how I'm not necessarily using an opinion. I'm giving a fact in general. Men live a harder life, and I'm supporting that with data as to how men live a harder life than women do in 2023 and 2024. Yes. I literally just we, said it, we have it on, a second it. ago. Okay, you can't yeah. remember what you say, so I don't even know if you'll be able to interpret the data correctly. And then as far as you go, you said opinions can be opinions can't be wrong because it's an opinion, and facts can be wrong. No, it's the other way around. Opinions can be right or wrong, but facts are always right because it's the truth. It's a fact. It, it's it's independently verifiable through other means. Okay, facts are obviously facts, but yes. opinions. Yeah, I'll, I'll no, clarify for you, love. I, I can have the opinion that, that Brazilian women are better dating material than Colombian women. That's an opinion that could be argued with. There's no factual proof okay. to say whether. Listen, listen. Whether no, Brazilian it, women are better, but I cannot have the opinion that this microphone yeah. is yellow. No, no, no. I there get it. I worded it wrong. Objective and subjective opinions. I worded so opinions it wrong. Can be wrong. Okay. Because what I meant was just like, like. The way I feel is... Exactly. Fuck how you feel! Yeah. This is a show about facts. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, not about how you feel. It's, it's, a, like... it's about what is real. Women live an easier life than men in 2023 and 2024, and there's nothing you guys can say that could prove me wrong, because I've studied this shit. Women live an easier existence. You guys can sexualize yourself at any point and get a man to commit to you, marry you, give you money, etc. I can't put on my Instagram, cash at me, bro. My yeah, feet pictures bro. are fire. <laughs> I can't Dream fucking bio, do that shit. Man. I, can't get yeah, her, I can't go ahead and get free dinners all week long from women that will go ahead. I can't get flown out by a sugar mama out anytime I want. It's not going to happen. So women have more options to make more money and become and, and lucrative at that than men do in 2023 and 2024, and that's because of the internet. And then you're making the argument, well, women can't get jobs. Yes, they absolutely can because women have the ability to go into job fields that are male-dominated and have an advantage. So women win in every single regard when it comes to making more money and having more opportunities than men because you have all the rights and privileges of men while simultaneously having female privilege that men can't get. So explain to me how you are oppressed or men have more advantages than you. That's not true. Men have more disadvantages than you do. You have all the advantages. It's wrong. Anyone can prove me wrong on that? No, but I mean, I, I, no, if no, I could but... add something really quick. Sure. You literally said that um, nobody gives a fuck about like woman NBA, but everybody gives a fuck about men's NBA. Yes. So you are literally saying that a woman could do a man's job and still not be looked at. So it is easier for the man to blow up what in about, the NBA. Porn stars. Than... Who cares about male porn stars? Wait, but we're talking about different things. We're talking exactly. about NBA right now. 
That's what we're talking about. That's that's what she's saying. Okay. You're talking no, about you're like, things, all right. Actually, things. you're you're incorrect. Um, for a man to be an NBA you said player, it. hold on, you no, no, said no, 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 no. What I said was, said no one gives a shit about WNBA because it sucks. And the reason why it sucks, <laughs> it sucks. And I'm gonna explain to you why it sucks. The reason why it sucks it's because is because a man it is, thinks so. No, no, no. Uh, do you go to NBA games? Do I go to NBA games? No, no, no. NBA team. Yeah. Do do you do you go to WNBA games? No. So you don't go fuck either. You don't go fuck either. I know. Can you Can you name one player? Yeah, they're more uh, players. Give it a team. Yeah, come on. Yeah. They're more players. Of WNBA. Yeah. But exactly. Yeah. But you can name as a man. <laughs> but, but you can definitely name an NBA player. We know that. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Yeah, bro. Okay, yeah. You so, fuck yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, my, my point I'm trying to make is this. You said, oh, well, men, we don't care about WNBA. There's a reason for that. We don't care about the WNBA. It's very easy. It's because... People are interested when they watch sports, the pinnacle of athleticism and the best of the best in that endeavor because they want to see fast, explosive, great, right? The problem is this. WNBA is easier to get into than the NBA because Masonic. it's more competitive to get into the NBA because it's harder. Like, there's more men competing in sports. So you don't think they work same hours, same workouts? They put just as much time? They they do, they put in you a good amount of work, so. too, of course. It's but just harder the, to get into the NBA because it's more people. Just think they put it's in harder great work. Because... No, they put in great work, but the men work harder. And the reason why the men work harder is because men biologically can take on more physical stress than women. When it comes to athleticism and sports, we recover faster. We have more uh, stronger bone density, more muscles, etc. We're superior to you guys in every way physically. Max, yeah. So, th so that is why people want to watch NBA, not WNBA, because number one, WNBA is slower, weaker, lamer, suckier. I don't yeah. think that's no one the cares. reason. Yes, it is. Do you watch it? No. I honestly, no. I don't know what it's streamed on, but I'd be interested in watching <laughs> no. it. Get out of here, man. Get out of here, man. Get out of here, man. Yo, yo. No, no, nobody watches so WNBA because it sucks and it's boring. <laughs> they watch NBA because the pinnacle of human achievement. And unfortunately for y'all, <laughs> men the are the pinnacle of physicality. So that's what they want to do. And it is way easier for a girl to make it to the WNBA than for a man to make it to the NBA. You know how many bitches I know that suck and play Division One basketball? Yeah, yeah because bro. less women try out. Thank you. Which means they have a higher likelihood of being good to get in. Yeah. Thanks for making our point. Thanks for making yeah. our point. Yeah. 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 The more you talk, okay? Yeah. Yeah. We have questions here from ladies that want to get Bro, you guys are in college. <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? Can we get the, the questions real quick? Uh, yeah. Because we've been on this point for like almost an hour. Yeah, anybody else why, have anything? Said that anybody else have anything before it closes out? No. All right, hold the L, ladies. Thank God. Uh, yeah. Uh, so we should do this question. Can, 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 can I go on a bunch of dates and get free dinners? Can I get a sugar mama to pay for me? I would do it. You just said I was ugly. It ain't happening, right? No, right. That was me. That was me. Yeah, you said I was ugly, so it ain't happening. Well, you kept... I said me. I said we'll I would take we'll you. We'll be friends after oh, this. You would? I would. You gotta use his money, the NFL player? Exactly. That's fucked up, oh, man. Oh, shit. That's, that's, long long. that's a revenge. I'm expensive, yeah. too. Come on. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Oh, I want flowers on a date too. I need flowers on a date. What do you think I deserve? It's just as possible. You, you can get on your carbone. podcast. Carbone and poppy steak every week. Carbone and poppy steak. Okay, okay, shopping like spree. And I want red roses. And shopping spree. Shopping spree too? Yeah. You know I need some drip. It's not smashing the first date, right? Yeah, you better get the van clean. And I don't have sex on the first date. I need a Rolex too. Facts. Tell them, Myron. No, no, fuck that. And a van clean. Like Future says. You know what? Matter of fact, AP. Mm. Man, this dick expensive. I need 20 bands at least. Oh, oh, shit. Man. First date. First date. Helicopter ride, too. Yep. Nigga. Damn, it's crazy to be a girl, bro. Bro, yeah. I'm like, wait a This is what girls be doing. I feel <laughs> this feels powerful. I feel Can I talk? Can you guys hear talk me? Talk your shit, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Talk your shit, King. Yeah. 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 If, only a man was, if only a man was able to respond like, you know what? You deserve the world. Like, I'll give you all of that. Because I'm able to. Oh really? No. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Easy. Okay. But it's not. Oh, right. It's not that easy. No. No. It's not. Wait. So are, are you gonna buy me a Van Cleef and dinner date and shit or what? I don't think she wants to. Yep. No. I wouldn't uh, have anymore. Right. Yep. Yeah. You said oh, that you would. Okay. Yeah. Said, that yeah. hurts too much. Right. Oh. Okay. There you go. Sorry. Talk your shit. Damn. Felt like a girl for two seconds. Uh, yeah. I should fuck up, man. Damn, man. Yeah. I'm going crazy, right? See, Chris, I even felt it. You were pumped. Oh shit. Yeah. I know. And then I gave you empty promises like a man. Hey, but you know what? There's another guy that'll offer it. Another guy. Hey, it's okay. Hey, hey, hey. I'm just going back to Instagram. All right, nigga. Oh, you don't want to. All right, idiot. Strike one, strike two. Hey. Strike three, we got it. I'm going to be I can have another you in a minute. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm going to have you another you in a minute. Man. You must not know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You must not know. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Wait, what? Wait, bro. You want to Yeah, yeah. She does. She's mad at managers for managing her wrong. Oh, 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 this is a cycle that happens, bro. Oh, shit. This is 
Listen. Oh, oh shit. I fucking love this shit. Oh, wait, you got red roses. What Ooh, the hell? Oh, you did. Cardi 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 no, no. He probably cheated and said, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's sorry, baby. baby. That's exactly what happened. Here's the gifts now. Yeah. yeah. Is that the, the ex bought that, right? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Freeze, freeze. freeze. One, one second, one second. Myron. She uh, found the sex video, uh, and he was like, oh, no, no. The subscribers bought it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> they did, though. All right, so so you said that they're aggressive on Instagram because on Instagram you don't respond. Wouldn't yeah. it be fair to say that they feel like like they p probably pay you or some shit like that on OnlyFans? They're not they're not getting their money's worth. Maybe they get a response. No, I didn't there. say on OnlyFans they get pissed off. I said like in my DMs they get pissed off. Instagram's but maybe they free. didn't get a response on OnlyFans <laughs> and niggas is tight. Well, oh well. Deal with it there. So wait, you're not unemployed. You do have a job. I mean, I just started OnlyFans like two weeks ago, so let's not hype it up too much. All right, so you're employed, oh. technically, by modeling by OF agency. She, that she's a model. <laughs> <laughs> what do you uh, do on there? Subscribe and see. No, of there course. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Common wordplay. Yeah. I know she Okay. Are got... NFL players replaceable romantically? Do women work harder than men? Should there have been a prenup in place? Let me know in the comments if you think she's right or wrong.